hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it y'all biggie's mama then came out and put out a statement y'all <laughs> y'all you know it's getting serious when biggie mama come out okay so notorious big's mother valetta wallace she said i hope that i see sean combs one day and the only thing I want to do is put them paws on him. Y'all, she want to knock the daylights out of him. This is what she said. And she said, you can quote me on that. Okay, y'all. Um, Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can y'all imagine all the victims and their families and how they're feeling right now? They are so happy that this stuff is taking place right now. And at the same time, they're feeling like they're on the edge of their seat waiting for them police to put them handcuffs on them, y'all. Just like we all are, to be honest with y'all. This don't make no sense. Why is, why is it even taking so long? Okay. But anyway, y'all, Mama Bear says she want to put them paws on him. Every time I see Biggie Small's mom, every single time that I see her, I think about that movie that they, they put out on, on Biggie. And I remember before he passed that she didn't want him to go. She did not want him to go because of all the beefing that was going on and this and that and that and this. And... You know, if you think about everything that happened then and what's going on now, you have to think about this. This is the same thing I was talking about with Mo3, okay? I, I talked about this when I started doing Mo3 and um, doing the videos on him. And I was talking about how his manager was the middleman. And he was the one that was keeping the beefs going. They were already people that didn't like Mo3. But at the same time, he was making them not like him even more. And it's the same thing that Puffy did. Tupac did not accept Puffy. He didn't even, he did, he wasn't even of his caliber. He didn't even want to be around Puffy like that. He thought Puffy was a nobody. Okay? And this is how you have to watch out for them nobodies. Because them nobodies, you see now, would take out them somebodies. Okay, y'all? Um, if Tupac and a Biggie wouldn't have had Puffy around, they probably would still be balling till this day. They would probably be balling out of control right now. And the reason why all of this beef started between Tupac and Biggie was Puffy, the middleman. He was the one edging all of this stuff on. If anybody took out Puffy, I mean not Puffy, but if anybody took out Tupac, they was going to think Biggie did it. If anybody took out Biggie, they were going to think Tupac people or Tupac did it. But he, his life wasn't in no danger. None whatsoever. And this is the tripped out part about street associates. If all of these people was rocking with Biggie and all of these people was rocking with Tupac, why ain't nobody, uh, and I ain't promoting no violence, but why ain't nobody thought to come at the people that started this mess in the first place? The reason why these two were gone? I don't understand it. The street associates just step back and act like, oh, Puffy is free to do whatever. And he the one started all of this mess, y'all. He started this mess. He wanted this to happen. He thought that this sold records. It sold. Drama sold records. And the more that they boosted this stuff up, the more the street associates got involved and everybody was taking out each other's side. And he was sitting back collecting money. And he was the main one that started this mess. And I never could understand that. Like, if... if there was so much love for Biggie. Everybody acted as if they were so crazy about Biggie. So many people. Lil' Kim, all of these people act like they were this just crazy about Biggie. But at the same time, they all knew who was the culprit in this whole situation. Yet, they still stand by Puffy. Out of all of the people when Puffy do something or have any kind of awards or give any kind of shows, Lil' Kim shows up every time. But at the same time, she act like she has so much love for Biggie. Now, if the streets been talking for years and saying that Puffy had a part in what happened to Biggie, then y'all think 
do y'all think for one minute that um give me one second y'all do y'all think for one minute Lil Kim didn't know what truly truly happened to him y'all think that you know all of the people that was on the bad boys roster y'all think that they don't know why Biggie was taken out Everybody was talking about this stuff for years. Now the media is just acting like they finding out about it. But everybody been talking about Biggie was trying to leave the record label. They said that. They said the same thing about Tupac. That he was trying to leave Suge Knight now. And he was taken out for the same reason. But now everybody want to act like there's something new. How in the world could Lil' Kim and all of these other people look puffy in the face and still be in puffy's face knowing what they know he was doing and into and what he was about i don't understand that at all and then they run in, they run into you know biggie's mama and be smiling all in her face i loved him and this and that and yet and still you knew behind closed doors that puffy played a huge part in his passing Everybody already was sad at him how Biggie was taken out. No security around. The, the security didn't have no weapons. It was just a lot of stuff that did not add up. He wasn't in the car with Biggie. If this was your best friend and your best artist and this and that, why wouldn't y'all ride in the same car together? Then none of it makes any sense. But everything is making sense now that Puffy played a huge part in what happened to Biggie. But this is what his mama just came out and said, y'all, that she want to put them paws on him. And I don't blame her not the least little bit, y'all. But anyway, rest in peace to Biggie and um, Mo3 too, y'all. Uh, rest in peace. And prayers up for Mama Bear, okay, y'all? Uh, on another note, y'all, people are out here actually opening up their mouth to say, that Diddy is missing his kids' graduation and they proms and all of this stuff because of all of this grand jury news and this and that and this. And they could people have the nerves in the comment section to say they could have waited till after the kids' graduations for them to be coming at Puffy like this so that they could get to enjoy their day with their father. What about the people that allegedly um, Puffy took out or had taken out, y'all? They can't enjoy their days with their families. So why should anybody care about him enjoying his days with his? His kids is running around here in all his name brand stuff in houses and their names and mansions and all kind of stuff. And he took from his artists, y'all. Is anybody caring about them and their families that they have to work a little nine to five jobs to feed them because Puffy ran away and stole all their money? So why in the world should anybody care about his kids' graduation and that he missed it? Y'all, people out here is sick in the head. They really are. Because even though this guy has done the things that he's done, people still, some of them feel sorry for him. There are people out here that are still feeling sorry for Puffy, I, all the stuff that they didn't say it, he has done. And we didn't seen a lot of stuff, in his actions. We didn't seen a lot of stuff, you know. Even even though nobody, no, puff his little flavor camp, all of this mess. Even though Usher said little subliminal rest messages, even though Justin Bieber won't just all in out come out out and say it, we see it on his face, y'all. We see everything on his face of what he didn't been through, y'all. And passed around in the industry. He then turned out so many people. Allegedly. In this industry. That who would care if he. Can, why should anybody even want him to come. To the school around their kids. Not just his kids. Other kids that's graduating. Why would they want to be around him. He is the scum of the earth. Y'all. Why in the world. Would anybody want their kids around this man. Please tell me that. After everything that he has done, and not to mention that tape coming out and how he did, not only should Puffy not be allowed to be around any schools and other kids and this and that and that and this, to be honest with y'all, his kids should not be allowed to be around him as well. 
That's how bad this is as far as the things that Puffy has done. So for the people that's sitting up here feeling sorry for him, the the H to the E L L with him. Okay, y'all. You know how when in the daylight when the you know the sun hits them vampires and they just burn up in the streets. I wish to God that's what how he was. Like he was just burnt up in the street like a vampire when the sun hit it. That's what I and just just go out screaming. Go out screaming. I wish he was a vampire, y'all. And somebody just tied him to a to something in the daylight and, and let the sun hit him, like in the movies. This is how I see Puffy. Because the things that he have done is sickening, y'all. It's sickening. And now, word on the street, I don't know if it's true or not, but people are saying that on those tapes that they took from his house, word on the street, allegedly, 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 other bloggers are reporting that Obama is on one of them tapes, y'all. Word on the street. This is what they're saying. And I'm not surprised, y'all. And they're saying he's doing some sick stuff. And they're saying that Obama, that Puffy has some dirt on Obama. And I believe it, y'all. I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Just like I believe that some of these other countries and people that's running these other countries, I do believe they have some dirt on Biden. That's why Biden doing the things that he's doing right there. now. I think they have dirt on him, too. And to be, I'm not surprised when you got people sending like Beyonce sending, you know, the vice president tickets to her concerts. And at the same time, this woman is putting out the messages that she's putting out. And you, the pictures is surfacing up of her out here doing demonic rituals and stuff like that. And, you know, and a, the vice president is all giggity giggity. I am not surprised. To be honest with y'all, I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't on there with Beyonce, to be honest with y'all. Because the way that Obama was looking at Beyonce at that little inauguration or whatever they call it, y'all, I would not be surprised if they didn't invite Obama to one of them parties and he wasn't on that tape. Because word on the street is Beyonce is on some of them tapes. This is what they're saying. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm going to say allegedly, but this is what they are saying. So I'm not surprised, y'all. I really not. Out of all of the people that was at these parties, this the oldest woman that you could even think of, Dr. Ruth, the one that was the one that was talking about, you know, giving people like Rex education and all of that stuff. I was telling you about this and that and that and that. Dr. Ruth, that lady like 120 years old. She was at the parties too, y'all. What was she doing there? This just goes to show you it was some sick individuals that was hanging out at Puffy's house. And ain't no telling what all they don't have on those tapes, y'all. They probably have not Them fans is having a field day looking through all of them tapes and seeing the different faces of the celebrities and everybody that was there. So I'm not surprised that Obama's name is coming up, that he's on one of them tapes. I'm not surprised the least little bit. The more these celebrities start hanging out at these White Houses and this and that and that and this, the more you know that things are not right and, and things need to change, y'all. A lot of stuff needs to be changed, you know, in these White Houses and these positions that they are having. Things need to be changed. They got people that's on the ballot right now that's part of the K to the K to the K. Okay, y'all? And they're out with their stuff. They got the hoodie on and everything. And they are a part of the ballots right now to be voted into office. So this stuff, is it goes deep. It's sad at the same time, but it it, it is what it is, y'all. You cannot depend on man to fix anything because the only thing man is going to do is continue to be greedy continue to cover up stuff and corruption and corruption and corruption you see that now look how they are fighting to keep cj davis in that seat in memphis and the whole memphis know that things has gotten worse 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 since she's been there 
And they still fighting to keep her in there. The mayor or whatever, whatever. They still trying. Why? Ask yourself why, y'all. Ask yourself why. But anyway, I just want to jump on here and let y'all know. It's still going down, y'all. It's going down in these streets, okay? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.